can't wait to meet Simple Minds. And you can see them very much alive and kicking up next on MTV's Coca-Cola Report. edition of MTV's Coca-Cola Report. Yes, it is St. Patrick's Day and we're here in the heart of Dublin enjoying all the festivities. And I'm joined by our two competition winners, Eliane, whose birthday it is, so happy birthday, and Yannicka. They've traveled all the way from Norway to have a great day out and meet Simple Minds. Right, we just arrived at the venue. I'm nervous. Uh, yes, a little bit. <laughs> what are with you? Are you excited? Very much. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Come on, girl. you know. I just found my new direction. And I hope you like the key. Like the other let me do it. She's the wind that sucked me through it. She's a river and she's turned out there in front of me. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. Happy birthday to you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah, happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> this is wonderful. <laughs> right, well, we're going to have a little bit of a party now with the champagne while you'll be sampling the sounds of Simple Minds. Take it away, guys. That was the big sound of Simple Minds. It's your first night of the tour. How do you feel? It's a full moon as well. Uh, I noticed last <laughs> night, that actually driving home from here, that it was about to be uh, a full moon. No, we feel we feel good. I think I think tonight will be a kind of a party atmosphere that uh, I think anyone up here could probably get a good a good reaction. <laughs> so. They seem all so excited already out there, so it should be brilliant. Now, on your last tour, you even won this prestigious Q Award as best live band or something of the year. How are you going to live up to that on this forthcoming tour? It's good you mentioned that. No one ever, no one ever, ever, ever mentions that. And uh, <laughs> it's about the only thing we. Very proud. The only thing we've ever won. <laughs> but um, the life thing's always been kind of first and foremost to us. So to get a good a good reputation as a, a live band uh, is a bit, a bit special. So I think we'll probably, probably win it again. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's see those Simple Minds tour dates right now. Simple Minds kick off in Belgium with a concert in Bruxelles. They travel on to the Netherlands for a date over there. Jim and the boys then move on to play in Dortmund and my hometown of Hamburg. Frankfurt and München are their next destinations. They then move on to Austria for an appearance in Wien. Switzerland is next on their agenda. The band then appear on stage in Italy. Greece is their next port of call. They return to Italy for a gig in Roma and Bologna. France is the next country they visit. Simple Minds then head off to Spain for dates in Barcelona and Zaragoza. And Valencia is their final featured tour date. Simple Minds are still a great live band, obviously. Now, do you still enjoy playing after all these years, 17 years being together? Yeah, I think the fact that we had such a, a, long, a long, long break um, made it feel fresh again. And Mentality-wise, we, we certainly feel recharged, and it's great if the sound you know, shows that, yeah. yeah. Fresh excitement. Mm. Now, this album, uh, Good News from the Next World, um, what does the title actually mean? It seems a grand kind of title, but to us it's actually very, very small. The world we're, we're talking about is our world of music, you know. It's not quite Wayne's world, <laughs> but even though we've been making this music for a long time, it's still hard to say where the initial inspiration comes from and without getting all kind of mystical about it it does seem from some place apart some you know some place outside of these four walls yeah can you describe the show a little bit what can we expect any oldies you play any classic well, actually we've, we've dug very very deep into like maybe you know some some tracks that we haven't played for maybe 10 years 12 years and I uh, kind of revamped them gave them a new you know a new sound and uh, we're excited about doing them because it, it, it gives us a challenge as well and 
And I'm sure if anybody's seen us over the last, you know, five or six years, that there'll be quite a lot of songs there that they've never seen us perform, so. Brilliant. <laughs> a lot of things to look forward to. And what's next for you guys? I know you'll be busy with the world tour, but is there anything else we should know about? I think we just want to, um, we certainly want to get out this loop of an album every four years. It starts to feel like the uh, <laughs> Olympic Games. <laughs> We should be running around with torch. <laughs> so let's see some more. Simple Minds, Live and Unleashed. New kind of new sound, new look. You grew your hair and suits you very well. <laughs> I grew and cut it. Actually, it was. It was even longer, was it? Yeah, it was indeed. <laughs> and in fact, you'll be appearing also in Glastonbury. Um, yeah, right? that's true, yes. That should be fun, right? That's interesting, yeah, because it's their was it, 25th year. It's like some anniversary, which is which is great, you know. I mean, the. Uh, we, we played a lot of cons, uh, we played a lot of shows, and. Uh, in uh, America before, before Christmas, with all these uh, new gods like uh, Live and Hall and Black Crows and, and um, the Grant Lee Buffalo. And, and uh, it was great to be in context again with uh, all the current thing. <laughs> and and uh, it was great not only to play, but be, you know, be able to see them as well. So <clears throat> the summer's going to be. We're, uh, a lot of festivals for us, and um, so that's, that's something that we are looking forward to. Okay, and me too, and the audience as well. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> this was actually our very last show from the Coca-Cola Report. We had a brilliant time, and what a show to go out with. Thank you very much, and I'll see you all.